I'd like to make two observations about the vaccines conversation unfolding in Canada right now. The first one has to do with doses, or lack thereof. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau really only has one job right now when it comes to managing the pandemic. You know, this is primarily a provincial issue. The premiers have all the tasks to tell people what they can and can't do, bring in the lockdowns, manage the long-term care facilities, that is the place where most of the deaths are, are occurring, and of course, doing the actual delivery of the vaccines. And they're saying, all right, give us the vaccines. We're ready to, to get them into the arms of people. But Justin Trudeau, well, he was the one to, to bring us all the doses, and uh-oh, he's failed in that one job. How could he possibly do this? Because he was bragging just months ago, Canada has secured, secured was the word he used, the most number of doses per capita any country in the world. Is it true? Yes, it's true. But what did secured mean? I mean, where were we in the timeline for all of that, for the delivery? Were we just behind all these other countries. I mean, what good does it do us if we've got more promised, but we're at the back of the line? Well, I think a lot of it had to do with the fact, we know a lot of it had to do with the fact that he put all his eggs in one basket with just one company and that all fell apart. Well, what was the company? Was it AstraZeneca or Pfizer? Or one of those other companies that is a household name for many people in North America. We're really very familiar with those companies and we have some degree of trust in them. No, it was, was with a company from China called CanSino. Really? One company putting all of it into them? Yes. And then that all fell apart. Also at a time when Canadians are increasingly and rightfully wary of the Chinese government and corporations in China connected to that government. Yikes. What on earth was he thinking? But my second point, I, I also want to talk about what are Canadians thinking right now about the vaccines and, and, and what they've sort of been led to feel about the vaccines as this magic bullet solution. I'm really concerned that some people are going to be in for something of a, of a psychological crash when they clue into what, what a lot of infectious diseases experts and immunologists are, are actually saying about the vaccines. I think a lot of people have been wrongly led to believe that you're going to get this vaccine and a bunch of people are going to get it. We're all going to get it by the summer or what have you. And then coronavirus, gone done. Not a single person gets it again. Not a single person dies of it. It's 100% over. Not true. Actually, some of the heads of those various companies, the CEO of Moderna was just saying the other day, coronavirus becoming an endemic illness, which means it's just around. It's out and about in society for the rest of my natural life. Jeez, I don't think Canadians are prepared for that. What does the vaccine mean? Then, well, the vaccine means that Hopefully you're, you're considerably reducing the hospitalizations of people in high risk categories in their 50s and 60s and 70s. Does it mean nobody's going to die of it anymore? No, we're not sure. I mean, it seems like people in their 80s and 90s, what some experts are saying, could still unfortunately die of this, even if they have the vaccine. So I think as much as you need to hold Justin Trudeau to aggressive account on getting those doses here, I also think we don't want to continue to lead people to believe that this is sort of a, a magic bullet quick fix situation where suddenly, bam, coronavirus is gone and disappeared. Because a lot of people, I, I worry that they believe that. And then as, as the weeks continue and the months go by and they hear more and more stories about various vaccine uh, efficacy or just that all these people are saying endemic illness here to stay, I don't know if they're prepared for that. And well, I think we should do a bit more to prepare them for what uh, the reality of the situation may be in the months and I guess years to come.